So today we, we discuss, as we always start, with the subgroups, so pathology, systemic treatment, uh, local treatment, imaging, quality of life. Then we get together as a whole group, about 80 people were attending uh, this year, which is a good number. And uh, then we discuss the uh, trials that are uh, pre-exco, we call that, so that's really talking about new trials and that's, that's important to keep the, the group going, to advance science in sarcoma. Then we did the uh, trials that are in development and then finally the trials that are running uh, right now. Yes, there were uh, three trials that will be presented at uh, ESCO, which is uh, quite a good number. Uh, of course, I cannot uh, tell the results here, but uh, I can de tell the designs of the trial. The first one is the ALT-GIST trial. It's a trial in metastatic uh, gastrointestinal stromal tumors, GIST, where we um, alternate the standard regimen of imatinib with uh, regorafenib in the hope to prolong the progression-free survival. This was an intergroup uh, trial and will be presented at ESCO. Um, the second trial is the so-called CABOGIST trial. That's a phase two trial in uh, patients with metastatic GIST after two lines of prior therapy where uh, cabozantinib, a well-known drug in oncology, is given to the patients and we have uh, high hopes for the, for the results there. And the third trial is a very important trial. Uh, it's the STRAS uh, trial. It's a trial where we uh, give, uh, in a randomized way, uh, pre-op radiotherapy to re retroperitoneal uh, soft tissue sarcoma. It's a truly academic uh, trial. Uh, it's an important trial that we did together with uh, US centers. And this trial leads into the STRAS-2 trial that we are currently in uh, full development. And this is a study where uh, pre-op chemotherapy will be uh, given to these uh, patients, also in a randomized way. What we always uh, do is uh, we mine our database, so we, uh, we have a extremely large database on uh, prospective uh, data of soft tissue sarcoma patients and uh, many projects uh, come from there. Uh, one of the projects was, was about uh, angiosarcoma and another one was on uh, leiomyosarcoma with different drugs. Uh, so um, this is a very important asset of uh, the ERTC and uh, the SCBSG that we have so many patients where we can learn from and use as a basis for novel and new trials. So one of the new trials we will develop is the combination chemotherapy in uh, leiomyosarcoma. Um, so this is, this is coming out of this retrospective work. Yeah, the goals we, uh, we, we really define is, is uh, several things. Uh, sarcoma is a, is a bunch of 70, 70 different subtypes. And the EORTC is in a, a unique position uh, to do s trials in such ultra rare uh, indications. Uh, this needs to be looked at in a pan European uh, way. And uh, so we, we really want to embark on studies in, in ultra rare subtypes with a good molecular um, um, alteration where a, a certain drug fits to. That's one of the things we, uh, we are really pursuing. Another thing is that we will uh, continue to do academic trials. So really trials where pharmaceutical industry has no benefit because these drugs are off patent. And uh, we want to keep doing that and look for alternative uh, financing resources. So that's uh, important, twofold, um, rare indications on a European level and academic uh, studies, prospective, and of course the database, which is very important. Mm -hmm.